Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am quickly going to film this video. This is my next scent picks. And if I get this uploaded on time, um, let's see, today is August 7th, Sunday, August 7th. If I get this uploaded right away, it's going to look like I did two scent picks like back to back, but the previous scent picks I just uploaded was from like three weeks ago. And I was just behind in getting it uploaded. So um, I obviously didn't get through everything from that last scent pick, but I uh, I did pull more stuff to kind of add to the bin that I'm going to be pulling wax out of to melt. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I decided to um, pull out. So the first one here is Sassy Girl Aroma Honeydew Cotton Candy. That is a favorite of mine. I just haven't melted it in a long time because I think I probably got a little um, burnt out of honeydew, but... I do enjoy the scent, so I do want to melt through some of it. I also have some Glitterati here that is pomegranate, watermelon, spritzer, pink sugar. I have three chunks in that bag. And some more Glitterati, that's strawberry jam, pear, and honeydew. There's like almost three full chunks in that bag. And I grabbed Zen and pomegranate from Rose Girls from the Mini Melters because um, I keep seeing people rave about Zen mixed with different fruit scents that I think Jenny had done <clears throat> a sampler of a while back. So I figured I would try and melt these two together and just see how, um, how I like it. I haven't melted the Zen scent at all yet, so it will be the first time for me melting it. Just adjust that a little bit. I grabbed a couple different scents from Sugar and Spice. I have two of the peaches and cream cake here and two of the Mac Apple pumpkin pecan waffle, zucchini bread, Celtic moon spice, and vanilla bean noel. I love that she doesn't limit how many blends you do, so you can kind of just go crazy. I grabbed this one as a scent pick and I actually threw it in this morning, Tropical Fairy Garden. This scent's amazing. I'll talk about it when I do my melting review, but I think I need to buy more of that. I also grabbed Calypso from the Bathing Garden. I'm gonna have to push this stuff back because I do have quite a bit of stuff that I grabbed. <clears throat> from Rose Girls, an, a muffin and cranberry orange, cranberry marmalade, marshmallow smoothie. From Haley's Heavenly Scents, Ice Capades. There's a helicopter, or not a helicopter, a small plane. There's a small airport, a small like private airport near my apartment. So sometimes you can hear planes. I don't know if you can hear that right now. From Glitterati, Blue Raspberry, Pink Sugar, Waffle Cone. Um, I do want to get through some stuff, although I think it is going to be a while before she gets to my name on customs, but I do want to try and melt more stuff. Vanilla Pear, Toasted Coconut Cream, because I love coconut scents. And Beaver Tail, Zucchini Bread, Toasted Coconut so that if I like any of those scents, I can add them to my custom list. Oh, one more. Walking on Sunshine. Oh, also from Sassy Girl Aroma, I grabbed this spider, spider? <laughs> Spiced pumpkin cider <laughs> type. Um, I don't know if that's like spiced pumpkin and then cider, but I really am like craving Cider Lane scents um, right now, but I don't have any in my stash. So it's kind of that I could find. So I pulled this out because it's kind of close to Cider Lane, but not really. A small little sample in pink sugar cookie dough. A bathing garden sample in pink sand. And I like doing samples and stuff too because it helps you get through, like get more empties. 10 digit creations, uh, orange patchouli. That was a sample I got. 10 digit creations, olive blossom. This is quite old. Um, about two years old and I just need to get rid of it. Ava's Sweet Potato Zucchini because I am craving bakery scents now that's not too fall heavy-ish. Uh, whipped Angel Food Cake. And from Link Providence Lodge, Apples and Pears. This smells really good. And then I have a half a set shot left in Hot Bath that I just need to finish. 
from Make Sense. This is Caramel Latte Sugar Cookies. I have a couple shapes left. And also for Make Sense, I have a bag here of Marshmallow Fireside that I thought I could maybe melt if I decide to burn a Marshmallow Fireside candle. From the Country Scent Shack Wild Strawberry and Vanilla Sandalwood. From Lake Providence Lodge Summer Fruit Salad. I know it's kind of hard to see. It's one of her bunch shapes and I've used a little bit less than a quarter of it. So, but I need to get through it. From the Bathing Garden, this Clamshell and Orange Marmalade. This is an older one. It's over two years old, but it still smells really good on cold, so. From Country Lane Keepsakes, Blueberry Cheese Danish. These cute little owls. It's a sample I got. From Candles from the Keeper Room. This is three that's left of a four pack in Strawberry Moments. This is definitely older, so. I try to grab, I'm trying to grab some of my older stuff and a variety of scents. Also from Candles in the Keeping Room, Jelly Filled Flapjacks. I have three of her tarts left in that. I probably have another bag of it somewhere, but. I grabbed some samples from Candles in the Keeping Room. So here's two that I have in Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. I love the scent, so I thought I would go ahead and grab those samples and melt through them. And since I have two, that'll allow me to melt in several warmers. Um, this sample in Sweet Orange Filled Twinkie. This sample in Clean Green. I'm also trying to get some like fresh type clean scents to be able to melt like in my bathroom and stuff. Fresh picked strawberry. Nice big strawberry. Bunny Treats. And it's one of her little bunnies that I just got earlier this year. And this scent reminds me a little bit of Farmhouse Treats from her, which I love. I have two um, of these shapes left in Berry Verbena. And I think this is, oops, I bumped my camera. This is the last one. These cute little lemon shapes in Lemon Meringue. From I Heart Wax. This is pretty old. Let's see, yeah, January 2014. One little tart left in lemon sugared pound cake strawberry bread. And a couple tarts left in pink Noel cake batter ice cream. This is from the first custom order I ever did from her. And then I grabbed some Better Homes and Gardens stuff. This is a candle that I had chopped up. This is Harvest Berry Pumpkin. It smells really nice, but not too fallish, like a good fall transition scent. Cranberry Mandarin Splash, which again, another good fall transition scent because it is fruity and citrusy, so not too heavy on like the fall spice or anything like that. Oh, and this scent I absolutely love that I don't think I've seen them bring back, but I just need to melt it because I love it and hopefully one day they'll bring it back, but chai tea. Um, if you guys ever do see this, let me know. I wonder if I can go on their website and order it. I love this scent. Love, love, love it. From Goose Creek, I grabbed Cool Spring Breeze and Cucumber Rain. I grabbed several partially used clamshells from Super Tarts. This is Lord of the Melts. And these are pretty, getting pretty old. I don't even have a date on that one. This was back when she did her labels like that. So you can probably tell it's at least a couple years old. Gandalf, which is a great coffee scent, one of the few that I actually really do like, because I'm part very particular with coffee scents. It, which is like a creamy bakery, caramely type scent, if I recall correctly. Psycho, another bakery scent. And White Christmas, which you can tell this one's a little older. From Blank Label, I grabbed these two scent shots that I do want to finish off. This is Bubblegum, Sweet Strawberry, and Blue Cotton Candy. 
haven't melted bubble gum in a while, so I would like to try that. And then I'm hoping she includes this scent in her next opening. So I really love it on cold, so I want to try it to see if it's worth um, me making an order because I'm trying not to order wax right now, but I'm having a hard time resisting. And this scent, the Haunted Mansion, it smells so amazing on cold, so I really want to melt it and see what I think and if I feel like I need more. I pulled out from Candle to Make Keeping Room several stuff, several stuff, several bags. This is Tiki Beach. Since I did get two more bags in my last order from her, I'm like, I need to start melting some of this because I love that scent. Also, Farmhouse Treats, one of my favorites. Rosemary Mint. Tangerine Dreams. And Cottage Breeze. This is from, yeah, last, last year. I haven't melted it at all. I have tons of wax from candles from the keeping room that I've never touched other than sniffing it. I have this. I can't remember where I got it from now. Vanilla Pumpkin from Candu Candles. I know it was in like a swap that I did with somebody, but I can't remember who. And I've never melted Candu Candles, so I thought I would try that one. And now is a good time of year to do it. I've been really enjoying the little bit of two-timing tart that I have, even though it's getting pretty old, so I thought I would finish off this chunk in mahogany plum wine. Oh, and then this one from two-timing tart smells amazing on cold. Cranberry yuzu zucchini. So, <clears throat> I have this one lone chunk from L3 um, Waxy Wonders. You can tell this is old as well, over two years old, Satsuma Watermelon Sweet Tarts. We'll see how it performs. I didn't get great performance from her wax. I bought one mystery sampler from her back at that time, and it just wasn't performing that well for me, so I never purchased anything else. Um, I've had a couple scents do well, but nothing that's made me want to purchase another order, place another order. So the last one here, sorry, it was a little dusty, so I was wiping it off. Um, from Up the Creek Scents, Frankenberry Zucchini Bread. This is older. So you can see like it's just the container starting to get a little discolored. I don't have it dated, but it's probably at least two years old. But it still smells really good. Yum. But I just need to get through it. And since zucchini's a good bakery, that's not too fall heavy. So anyhow, so this is the stuff I'm adding to my bin to try and melt over the next several weeks. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.